This is John Hansen for Over 50 Muscle. Today I'm going to show you an old school back and bicep workout at the Powerhouse Athletic Club in Tampa, Florida. We're going to do all the basics for back. I'm going to do some close grip pull downs, some wide grip pull downs, barbell rows, dumbbell rows, hyper extensions, and then for biceps, we're going to do incline curls and barbell curls. Just old school, great exercises to build some muscle mass. Come on, check it out. All right, so the first exercise I'm doing for back, I always start off with the close grip pull downs. This is a really good exercise for the lower lats because you're keeping your elbows in front, and pulling them down. So I use this as kind of a warm up. I do like two sets and uh, just moderate weight. I'm gonna do like 15 reps the first set and then about 10 to 12 the second set. All right, now the second exercise I'm doing is the wide grip pull down. So by changing the grip, I'm going from a close grip to a wide grip. Close grip's gonna hit the lower lats. The wide grip's gonna hit the upper lats. So I always do one exercise for width. I either do chin-ups or wide grip lat pull downs. Today I'm doing the wide grip lat pull down. I'll do um, four sets. The first two will be kind of warm-ups and then the last two will be the heavy set. And I'm going for probably six to eight reps on that. Right now I'm doing my last two sets. This is my working weight, so I got about 205. I did 145 for my first set, 175 for my second set. So now the last two sets will be 205. I'm probably gonna get between six and eight reps. All right, next exercise I'm gonna do is the mass builder. It's the barbell row. The way I do a barbell row is I'm going to stand on this little block over here. I'm going to grab the bar with a wide grip, let it come all the way down, keep my body parallel to the ground. I'm going to pull it right up here, right in the middle, my shoulder flexors between my chest and my abs. This is a warm up set with 135. I'll probably do like 10, 12 reps just to warm up. All right, set number two of barbell rows. I'm gonna do another warm-up set. This is 185, I'll probably get like 10 reps with this. After this set, I'm gonna start my three working sets. So that'll be the mass builders, but I gotta do a couple warm-up sets first. Now I'm gonna do my working set. I'm gonna do three sets with 255. You notice on these exercises, I'm grabbing the bar wide and I'm grabbing it with an overhand grip with my elbows wide, which gets the outer lats, builds the thickness. I'm going for sets of five here, three sets of five.
All right, my next exercise is the one-arm dumbbell row. This is another thickness exercise because it's another rolling movement. I used to do two rolling movements every back workout. So I'll either do barbell rows, dumbbell rows, seated cable rows, T-bar rows, some kind of rolling movement to get that thickness. Uh, so this time I'm doing the dumbbell rows with the barbell rows. One arm at a time. I'm gonna do them just holding the bench with one hand, bending over, and I'm rowing it up right into the side here. So I'm doing a warm-up set with 110s, and then I'm gonna do two working sets with my working weight. All right, now I'm gonna do my two heavy sets of dumbbell rows. So I got the 150s, I'm going for sets of five. I'm gonna do two sets, sets of five. Again, I'm just pulling up really hard. All right, my last exercise for my back workout is gonna be the hyperextension. This is an exercise for the lower back. First set, I'm not gonna use any weight. I'm just gonna do like 20 reps, just get the blood in there. And then next two sets, I'll use a 45 pound plate next to my chest and drop it and keep going. This is a great exercise to just strengthen up the lower back muscles, which is what you need when you're doing like heavy bent over rows and other basic compound movements like squats. So you gotta have that lower back development. All right, now I'm doing biceps. First exercise for biceps, we're gonna do incline curls. So I got the bench kind of on a high incline. And what I'll do is I'll stand up and lean against it. I'm not gonna sit down. Keep my, my hands supinated the whole time. And I'm gonna go for a really good stretch and then squeeze it up. And I keep my elbows really tight by my sides. So I'm not letting my arms go down. I'm keeping them tight right here. But I'm still trying to get a good stretch and then squeezing it up. All right, so I did my warm up set with 40s. Now I'm doing 50s. I'll do two working sets, probably like six, seven reps. I found with biceps, it's such a small muscle group, there's no need to go really heavy. I just want to really feel a good contraction, but I am using a weight that's gonna limit me to like six or seven reps, because this is my working set. And I'm trying again to get the muscle stronger in this exercise. So when I go to the mass cycle next week, I'll be stronger for a little lighter weight for more of the uh, six to 10 rep range. All right, my second exercise for biceps is gonna be the standard barbell curl. I'm gonna keep my hands supinated, elbows at my sides, and put my hands right outside my thighs. So that's where I position my hands on the bar. So I'm gonna do one warm-up set with 95, try and get about eight or 10, and then I'll do two working sets with 125 for six reps. 
All right, so now we're gonna do my working sets. I'm gonna do two sets with 125 and I'm gonna get six reps. Alright, that's it for the back and bicep workout. I hope you guys liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos on the over 50 muscle. Check out my website at johnhansonfitness.com. We're at the Powerhouse Gym Athletic Club in Tampa, Florida. We'll see you next time. So what's the best way to build muscle? Do you train heavy like a power lifter or do you use light weights and pump out the high reps? Do you train to failure using force reps and drop sets or do you use a slow progressive resistance system? My name is John Hansen. I'm a three-time Natural Mr. Universe and the first Natural Mr. Olympia winner, and I have over 40 years of experience in training and competition experience. And for the first time ever, I'm going to reveal all my secrets in a two-day seminar that's going to take place on March 21st and 22nd in Tampa, Florida. This two-day seminar will consist of both a classroom setting and hands-on instruction in the gym. This seminar, I'm going to discuss many topics, including the science of building muscle, what actually makes a muscle grow, the different muscle fiber types, how to incorporate all this into your workout. I'm gonna discuss how to build the body in accordance with the principles of muscle mass, symmetry, proportion, and shape. You're gonna learn how to overcome stubborn body parts, how to use goals and visualization to help you build your physique, the difference between intensity versus volume, and the best exercises to use to build the maximum amount of muscle mass possible. I'm also gonna discuss the complex subject of nutrition, including eating the proper amount of macronutrients, fueling your muscles for the workouts and for recuperation, and the best supplements to use. I'll also talk about how to get ripped and keep your muscle mass at any age. And don't forget the one-on-one -on -one instruction in the gym. This part of the seminar alone will save you years of trial and error. I'm gonna go over all the important muscle building exercises and instruct each member of the seminar on how to properly perform them for the maximum benefit. So if you're ready for a two-day bodybuilding seminar that's gonna save you years of trial and error, Come out to Tampa, Florida, March 21st, 22nd. Go to my website, johnhansonfitness.com, and sign up today. Remember, we're only taking 15 people at the seminar, so don't delay. Sign up today, johnhansonfitness.com, right here in beautiful Tampa, Florida. I'll see you there.